Welcome back. So now we're going to talk about how strategy is about being different. Now in our guns and butter example, we assume that it's a one-to-one -one exchange for guns and butter. And going back to that homework example that I gave in the last video, like it takes you an hour to do your entrepreneurship homework and an hour to do your accounting homework, and you've only got an hour. Well, you know, that's not really all that realistic. I mean, let's face it, entrepreneurship is way cooler than accounting. You're going to be able to get your entrepreneurship homework done in like 20 minutes because you're so enthusiastic about it. And then you can drag your feet on the accounting homework because that takes like an hour and a half anyhow. So you get your entrepreneurship homework done. It should take an hour to do it, but you're pretty smart because you're an entrepreneurship student. You've been watching my videos, you know, hitting that like button and subscribe. You've been posting comments down below. You're doing the things you need to do to get an A. So you do 20 minutes for your entrepreneurship homework, and then you got 40 minutes left, you think you can do half of the accounting homework. That's a little bit more realistic, isn't it? So let's actually draw a production possibilities curve that might reflect something like that. Okay, let's see, hopefully you can see me over here. So let's draw one. Hopefully that looks. Yeah, it does. You know, sometimes I can't quite see how the stuff shows up on video. Let's take two different countries. You know, we, we had kind of nameless countries here doing guns and butter. Let's take two countries with very different resource endowments, Saudi Arabia and Vietnam, okay? So we've got Saudi Arabia, and of course, what are they known for? They're known for oil, okay? And then let's look at Vietnam, right? It rains so much in Vietnam, it's known for growing rice. Okay, so with Saudi Arabia, I mean, you can basically, from what I understand, you can basically stick a straw on the ground and oil shoots up, okay, that's an exaggeration, but it doesn't rain very much there, okay. Vietnam doesn't really have a lot of oil, unless you count the offshore drilling, but we're just talking about in the country itself, but it rains so much, so it's great for growing rice, so not a lot of oil, but they can get a lot of rice. So let's take this purple marker to symbolize Saudi Arabia, okay. Their production possibly is not going to be nice and pretty like some of these, but it'll probably look more like this. And what I'm trying to show here is they've got to give up a lot of oil production to produce a little bit of rice. You know, maybe you've got to burn oil to distill water, I mean, all sorts of stuff. It's not really a good place to grow rice, Saudi Arabia. Okay? Then you've got a country like Vietnam where there might be a little bit of offshore oil, or there might be a little oil in country somewhere, but it's really expensive to produce, and you've got to drill really deeply. So to take the resources to develop oil rigs, let's see, it looks something like this. And what I'm trying to show here is that they've got to get a lot, get rid of a lot of rice, or give up a lot of rice to produce just a little bit of oil. Okay? And that's what we see here. And so when we talk about strategies being different, what makes sense for Vietnam is to focus on producing as much rice as they possibly can, maybe more than their population needs, and then to sell the leftover rice to their Saudi, Saudi Arabian friends who have way more oil than they need and they just trade. That's the whole point of being different. Okay? So let's say Vietnam wants to produce this amount of oil. They're selfish. They want all the oil for themselves. So that's O1, R1, oil one, rice one. And let's say Saudi Arabia doesn't want to trade with Vietnam. And they give up all this oil. To produce a little bit of rice they're actually going to wind up having less oil in this particular model with very little rice and the Vietnamese have basically given away their entire food supply for a little bit of oil versus if the Vietnamese make a very different choice or let's say the Saudis make a very different choice and they produce oil way up here that's going to be O3 or sorry, excuse me R3, O3, 
So look how much oil they have, and look how much rice they produce. Not much, but look at all that oil they can trade right there. And the same thing. Let's say Vietnam decides to make this ridiculous quantity of rice. And they're not going to make much oil, but look how much they have to trade. So that's the whole point of strategy being different. Now, if you want to relate this to companies and firms, firms and companies, just like countries, have their own unique resource endowments, right? They have, and of course, I encourage you to watch my video, Means of the Firm. But you know, you're going to have different kinds of buildings, different locations. You're going to be in different countries with different tax policies, different legal structures. You're going to have different people with different kinds of intellectual capital. You know, some they maybe have some really smart people. So every company is going to have things that they're better at than other companies, right? No company produces everything better than everybody else at all times, right? So it makes sense to focus on what you're good at. That's the whole crux of strategy, producing this unique and valuable position. Focus on what you're good at, forming your own little niche, making money off of that niche, and then the surplus goods or the extra money you then use to trade with somebody else for something that you actually want, okay? Some other kind of good or service. That's the whole point of strategy in Michael Porter's particular uh, theoretical orientation. Now, in the next video, we're going to start talking about the origins of these positions. Okay? And positions is basically just a fancy way of saying you know, what these different kind of curves would look like. You know, if you have, um, well, I'll talk about them in the next video. But that's a different way of showing, this is a visual way of showing kind of a strategic position. I hope this clarifies a lot of what's going on in Michael Porter's article. If you have any questions, make sure you post them down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, that's a like, and definitely hit that subscribe because I am a starving YouTube creator. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.